Okay, you guys. Um, I'm finishing up the last section of my head, and I have oil dropping all down my back. But um, you see it just dropping down because I made the. Let me wipe it off, son. Okay. I made the hole bigger in my um bottle, and now I don't really have to squeeze it at all. It just drips out. So. I parted this section and I'm looking into two mirrors. So this is how most people ask me, Ebony, how do you get your hair to be parted so straight in the back and style me? Well, I buy me like a long mirror, you know, one of the college mirrors that everybody has. Well, they use in college. I'm not in college, though. And um, I just put it on top of my little file cabinet where I file my hair stuff in and soaps and stuff. And so I can see the back of my hair with my um, bathroom mirror. Okay, so I done already sectioned my hair in the back already and I'm just putting oil on the back part. And I put a little bit of my hand, like I said, like a few drops and I just rub it through my hair until it's feeling, until it's feeling oily. You know, I don't want it to feel dry at all. I just, you know, part it with my finger and take each section of smooth oil on it. Take another section, smooth with some oil on it. Put the oil on the end too. Okay. Um, what I didn't show you guys is, let me turn this around a little bit. Okay. What I didn't tell you guys, I think the mirror is causing a flash. Let me take that down. I don't, um, sit under the dryer with my, um, with these clips. Because I want the heat to get directly to my head. So... What I'm going to do is transfer bobby pins. So I'm just going to twist that back up. And put the bobby pin in the back. Now one thing I don't do is I don't heat the oil first. Like, you can heat the oil first and put it in your hair, but since I take my time to do everything, by the time I finish up my whole head, the oil that I would heat up would be cool. So, I just put regular room temperature oil in my hair. And then what I do is I send it in a hair dryer for 20 to 25 minutes, sometimes 30, mostly 20. I get tired of being under there. Okay. I should just take the gasket and put it in front of me. <laughs> That'd be smart. Okay. I hope my camera lasts because I feel the battery is almost about to go dead. So I hope it doesn't go out on you guys. Because I'm really not going to record your video. I like, don't feel like it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I had to charge my battery for a little bit. So, this is the last <laughs> section that I took the clip out of. And I, um, I'm going to go ahead and twist it. And I usually use my big body pin for my hair. These really huge ones. Because my hair is very thick. Okay, and I went ahead and took this middle section that was together and put it in two. Now, what I do is, I get up under a shower cap, a plastic cap, and I'm going to sit under the blow dryer for about 25 minutes, and I'll be back and tell you what my next step is, okay? Alright, see you later, bye. Okay. I'm back. I've been un under the hair dryer for about 20 minutes. I got under there around 7.36, then I got out around 7.56, so 20 minutes. Um, my hair is warm. Yeah, it feels soft. Yeah. I always like to feel it to see if it did its job, and it did. Yep, so this part was kind of dry. That's good. Let's see how this came out. Yeah, that came out pretty good too. Okay, so next. Well, this um, video was all about my hot oil treatment. So, the first section of it was showing you how I section my hair and I put it in clips, but I basically transitioned to bobby pins. But since I'm at it, um, the next video is going to be um, how I wash my hair. And I'm, in this video, I'm just going to prepare my hair to be washed. I'm going to take these bobby pins out. I usually get a hair dryer, like I said before in other videos. I put bobby pins in because... I don't want the clip getting getting in the way, and I want all of my hair to be, um, you know, all the heat to pass through my hair. So, I do a hot oil treatment, then I wash my hair, then I put the conditioner on it, and then I do the deep conditioner also. So, then I switch from the bobby pins to the hair clips. It doesn't take that long. It's not that much work. Usually it takes me a long time to do my hair, which is why I can't find my hair clip. Which is why I usually do it on the weekend when I have all the time in the world. But since I started a little bit early tonight, I'm going to do everything except style my hair. And I'll come back tomorrow night and show you how I style it. I usually like to style my hair after I wash it. You can tell my hair is just because I scratch it. Every time I'm doing a video with my hair, I'm always scratching it. <sighs> I guess because it'd be about that time to wash it. Okay. Um, so. I can't find my other clip. Oh, here's one. There's another one over there, too. Okay. So. This is my hair. And now, um, I'm about to go and wash my hair. And usually I just, well, I'll show you step by step what I do. Okay, so I'll be back.